<laughs> I love you. Welcome to episode one of Careless Style with Kim. So right now this is the vibe. This is what I'm going for. Let's um, finish putting this on actually. So I feel like I've damn near perfected the style of looking like I don't give a fuck. And sometimes I put in a lot of effort and sometimes I don't. Today's going to be one of those minimal effort days. It's not hair wash day. I'm not doing a whole lot with my hair today. In fact, I'm really just going to throw it up. But it's going to look cute. Because I'm a cutie. So, step one in careless, careless style is making sure that you actually do have clean skin. I'm not the best at this. Sometimes I sleep within my makeup. Again, it's carelessness, so it's okay. We can do and say whatever the fuck we want because we're a vibe. Anyways. So recently, I started using this um, number seven shit. It's a day cream, and honestly, I'm not a fan. But I'm going to use it because... Like, it's, it's good as far as creams go, but the thing about it is, it will burn your eyeballs. 1000%, it'll burn your eyeballs like fucking crazy. So, if you have it on your hands and you happen to rub your eyes, oh, you're shit out of luck. If you happen to start crying in the middle of the day, fuck you, your, your fucking face is gonna make you cry even harder. It's ridiculous how, <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous how, how terrible it is. And notice I'm still putting it on my eyes. <laughs> Carelessness y'all. It's a vibe. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a thing. All right. So careless style. Start off with our clean skin, put our lotion on. We need that moisture whenever we start doing our makeup. I got my shit heating up too. We're gonna take that out and we're gonna take, where is it? I don't know why that's in there. All right. I'm gonna pull a little there, pull a little there. And put a little heart there to remind you to see with love. And you put a little there. And you put a little there. And then you sit and you wait and you go to your hair. Now, you may be like, Kim, you need to fucking brush that shit. And I'm here to tell you, no, you don't. You don't. Because I got curly hair. We don't brush the shit. Actually, I do every once in a while. I own a brush. I couldn't tell you for the life of me where it is right now, though. But my niece has one. It's right in front of me. Are you calling my name? I feel like brushing is defeats the purpose of carelessness. Okay, good enough. I don't want to do one of those. Those seem kind of basic for the day. I lied. We're doing one of these guys. Perfect. All right. So it's more than likely going to fall a little bit throughout the day, but it's okay because we don't give a fuck today. Just double knotting it for perfection. And I might throw in a clip later. But this is the important part. Taking out these parts that we know are about to go fucking crazy in the middle of the day. Most important part, I'm telling you guys. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I got these baby hairs that just completely stick straight out. So what we're doing is we're gonna straighten those babies. Tame them a little bit. 
We don't have to tame our souls, but our baby hairs, sometimes. Not all the time. All right. Well, I guess you're coming down too. Giving, um, did she just roll out of bed and still look that fucking flawless vibe? I'm digging it. Fucking digging it. All right. Please remember, whenever you have colored hair, like vibrantly colored hair, to turn the temperature down on your shit, any heat products, because it will make it fade. So I'm just putting my foundation in those places where I don't really need the highlight. And I'm not really going to do a highlight either. You'll see. Trust the process. So the foundation I use is Fit Me. There's two different ones. Oh, there's Bindi on there. So there's two different ones of these. This one is the poreless one, and it does not it does not have the um, Sicilic. It's not the one for acne because I use hyaluronic acid on my skin cycling routine and it doesn't react well with hyaluronic acid. So if you're doing skin cycling, do not buy products with hyaluronic, I mean with a sicilic, cis, that acid that starts with an S and has a C in it. I'm dyslexic, so it's, it is what it is. I don't know what it's called and I am imperfect. That's okay. All right, so easy peasy. Next, we go to blush. This is the one I grabbed, this is the one for today. Um, it's a MAC one, I couldn't tell you the b color because I've had it forever and it's rubbed off. Here. So I want some up there? Yeah. Let's do a little dot there, a little dot here. Bam. All right, now we're moving on. Mascara, brows, and I'm not doing that today. So I was always taught that you don't want to look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. And with my careless style that I feel like I've perfected, um, people don't know if I'm wearing makeup sometimes. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I don't like to do all of this shit. I don't like to do all of the contouring and changing my face and all that. I mean, I feel like there's a time and a place for it. Not every day though. And definitely not today. Cause we about to be in a car all day. If you don't know, I do door dashing into Uber Eats right now because I just got back from India and I haven't been allowed to work in India so I have this huge like time gap on my resume so it is what it is Last thing. Mm. Bobby pins. Because this baby 
be in the most day like that all day. There we go. That's the vibe. Hold on and I'll show you the finished product. The finished product. Firstly, ignore all these books. We're in the process of moving shit out of my niece's room. In the hallway's middle ground. Sarah, you can't even see my toes. All right. Here we go. This is the vibe today. It's giving, oh, her blacks don't match. Oh, who's that hottie that just walked in here? Who's this fucking queen? It's me. You're welcome. I'm here. I got these rain boots on because you never know when you're gonna find a puddle that you just need to jump in. I got these comfy pants on because I'm on my period and it fucking sucks and I feel a little bit bloated. So I've also got this little shirt because I actually at the same time I feel like maybe I might go to the gym today that might be a little bit um overshooting it but it may not so we're, we're gonna figure this shit out together so I'm about to actually go to my niece's got a, a school thing like a player or whatever I don't quite know but it's supposed to last like four hours I'm not staying the whole time but I'm, I'm gonna be there for a little bit so I'm about to go do that then we're gonna start some dashing or Uber Eats in. I don't do my dashing until 4.30 today because I haven't hit that 100 mark so I can't just dash whenever the fuck I want. I'm a noob. So, so we're gonna do that. I have this goal thing that we're gonna do and let me hop right to that so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh, I wrote a steamy poem this morning <laughs> and I ain't sharing it with anybody. You got to get the book. So anyways, we have the great escape coming up. It's coming up very soon. We've already got our dash cam and I got a couple of things. Oh, I can check it off. Yay. Our dash cam coming in. I'm really excited about this. It's a, a camera that has like four different things rather than the one that I have right now. So it's it's gonna be so great. I'm so excited for this adventure. Anyways, that's coming in soon. So that just took a whole large chunk of the money I had. I have the Ulta order. I got that yesterday. Awesome. One thing off the list. Now, other than that, I still need to get windshield wipers because my babies are a little bit not so good. Um, gotta go to Hannah's. My DoorDash goal is $500, just in case something happens to Big Bertha whenever we are driving to our destination or on our adventure. I hope nothing happens. Any hoozles. I also have a goal of getting to my 100 dashes so I can just dash along the way during this. And with Uber Eats, I need to get my ratings up so they can pay for college for me. Um, coming up, we're also gonna have a Halloween costume too. My goal today is to make at least $70 with Uber Eats. I don't know about DoorDash, I'm not setting a goal right now for that, but I'm hoping to get $70 with Uber Eats. That way I can get my Halloween costume and I can start working on that too. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Any hoozles. So that's where we are right now. I'm about to leave to go to this school program and I'll catch you guys up afterwards because I don't play by my DC safety. Come on. Here we go. Sorry, move this out of the way. Okay, so before we go, I'm packing up. This is my little thing, so in case I do any, um, in case I do the pay later things where I pay for it up front, I write it down in there. I got a lot of notebooks, but I wanted to do one card. 
this is the one. Well, that's the one for the day. Prince or Princess. So this is from my fairy tale deck, and this is the only place where you'll be able to ever see this deck. It's oh my gosh. Oh! Prince or Princess. The prince and the princess, they're a little bit spoiled, aren't they? They have ways of going big and bold whenever they don't get their way. So, I feel like this is a big thing. Um, I feel like I'm the princess, obviously, but I feel like there's also a prince coming in today. And I don't know if I'm going to want to update you on this any later. But there very could possibly be a prince coming in today. Oh, okay! <laughs> and if I don't get my way, I'll just go crazy. <laughs> because it's true <laughs> anyways god I'm funny Ugh, I crack myself up somebody's got to do it someone's got to do that shit steamy poem grab my notebook in case I get in So this might be an impossible challenge, but I try to keep all of my stuff like in order, like timeline order. What is today? But I write, like, if I just find paper, I'll write on it. So I have this big notebook that I've only had for, like, two weeks. And I'm just writing away. There we go. So, starting out with our goal... Like I said, our goal for DoorDash is 500. Today, our Uber Eats goal is $70. Um, right now, my bank account is dwindling because I spent money yesterday on the dash cam and my lotions, which is obviously necessary. So um, I have, I want to say, about $60 in my DoorDash account and $5 <laughs> in my Uber Eats account. So I'm going to have to dip into my DoorDash account for gas or make some money with Uber Eats beforehand because I have 100 miles, which may seem like a lot, but not whenever you're driving like 200 a day. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. This fucking car hates me. Hold on. I don't even know if you can see it. Be my witness, okay? Watch. It's gonna work this time. Aha! Motherfucker. I could quite literally be standing outside that door for a good five or 10 minutes trying to get it to stay unlocked. Don't you know? Universe keeps you humble any way it can. Oh, I have. <gasps> Check that out. 111 miles till empty. <laughs> Angel numbers, baby! Don't worry about all those blanket lights. That's not your business. So, we're about to head up to Florence because that's where usually all the money is. So, yeah. 
Mama needs a full tank of gas. And I'm not about riding around Muscle Shoals and Tuscumbia right now whenever I don't have a full tank. Let's go. And so we begin. Starting off good, approximately $9 earnings going to Burger King. Our princess today. Yeah. All right, one down. She's a guest, guest love. Down to 88 miles. And I've made roughly $10. It's not going to fill me up, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. $2 in the bank. Look at me go. So I just picked up an order at McDonald's. And there were two guys walking in. Obviously, like, in the South, guys typically hold the door for ladies. So, I walked up and I got there first. And I grabbed the door and I pulled it open. I said, gentlemen, and I let them go through. And one of the guys said, thank you. I said, you're welcome. Everybody is a princess today. <laughs> and they did not respond. <laughs> the sun is shining somewhere I just gotta get there Hey And nobody will love me Till I learn to love me Hey The sun is shining somewhere I just gotta get there. Hey! You're welcome. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Since I started doing this, I've started parking atrociously. It's bad. I just got a compliment on my hair. Everybody's a princess! Did you know? That was totally a lie. They're, they're omnivores. They eat both plants and carcasses. Little fucking scavengers. That work so well together. So, that last delivery was actually by my house. So, I'm checking in with Molly, seeing if she needs to go to the bathroom. And she's just really cute. Molly Wally, I'm sorry, I just got an order. So I'm not gonna stay very long, but I wanted you to know how much I love you and how cute you are. Cause you're the best puppy in the whole world. Yes you are, yes you are, yes you are. I love you. I'll be back soon, okay? I promise. Um, are you going home for lunch? No. Oh, shit. No, you want to okay. Bye. Because Molly didn't poop this morning and I just went by the house to take her out and um, I got a call. So I'm headed back to Florence. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take her out. But okay, I'll try to make I'll try to make my way back. Well, I'll let you know. So I have this thing where <laughs> in the South, don't know if you guys know this about the South, but people say like little cute expressions all the time. And one of the things that people say to me is, oh, I don't bite, I don't bite. And I've started saying, I do. <laughs> and we usually get a good laugh about it too. <laughs> Some girl just walked by and said, I believe her. <laughs> Anyways, on our way to another order, but I have, let's 
city. 59 miles till E. Okay. So I just finished a trip. I'm trying to send a thank you because I just got a couple of tips in. Thank you for the tip. You beautiful motherfucker, you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the tip. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Service, you know. But, um, I have 41 miles till E. My gas light just came on. Well, it came on a little bit ago. And I think I just did that one. Yeah, I already sent that. Okay, how much have I earned so far? $27. Let me see how much is in that account. Oh, come on, the service here, y'all. Do I have enough to get gas? Oops, network connection was lost. <sighs> network connection, connect. Can you hear me now? Good. I should have more than that because I made twenty seven dollars. Either way, it says aha thirty five dollars. I got this to fill up my gas tank. Okay, to the gas station we go. Oh, for gas, I'm using this app called Upside. If you don't know anything about it, get it. There's a link or a confirmation code or referral code or whatever down in the description, so check it out. Um, it pretty much pays you for gas, getting cash back for gas, and you can get, I wanna say up to 25 cents off. So that adds up, and it can add up pretty quick. I was trying to say pretty quickly, but I started to say fast, so pretty quack. <laughs> Ducks, quack, quack. Come on, the service here. Okay, maybe I just gotta drive towards somewhere. We'll see. I don't know, not all gas stations you can use this at, so you have to go to specific gas stations, so I guess I'm just gonna try to find one along the way. And I might get another order before then, so it's up in the air. So I ended up getting another order and I'm going back to Muscle Shoals and I know where I can get gas there, so we're about to head back now. All right, so I got gas along the way. We're up to damn near 200 miles. Oh, shit. We got some money coming in today, baby! That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be busy by the time 4.30 comes around. It's now three o'clock, so let's do a little gold check-in. Oh, the booger there? Um, so anyways, let's look at our goals. So, so far on Uber Eats, I have done $57.49. I'm a little bit away from my goal, but we have an hour and a half to still get that in. And I think I'm still waiting on a few tips as well, so we should be good. I'm pretty sure I'll hit that $70 goal. Now with DoorDash, I didn't have a, num a numer numerological, numerical, I didn't have a numerical goal. I had a number goal for um, getting to my my next status. So let's see where I am right now. <laughs> right now, I'm at 72. So I'm at 72 out of 100. So by the time the end of the night, I think maybe I'll be around let's say 88 but I don't know for sure um I'm scheduled to work until where am I where's my schedule at I'm scheduled to work until midnight <laughs> but let's be honest I am not the one <laughs> to stay up that late <laughs> I love sleep and my day tomorrow starts at 4 a.m so I'm gonna cut out early I just don't know when yet I'm just gonna go until I get sleepy because 
I don't see a point in overworking myself tonight if I'm getting up at four o'clock in the morning and I'm working quite literally until eight o'clock at night. So yeah, that's where I am right now. I think, I think this, this weekend's gonna be very magical and money making for me. Also, do you wanna do a Prince update? Cause I feel like you're, you're a little nosy about this. So I heard a name. I'm not gonna share with you what this name is. Um, so I feel like, I feel like he's here. He's here. He's here. And that's, I keep getting that. I keep, I keep getting the feeling of him smiling and putting his smile against my like face or cheeks and wrapping his arms around me either to tickle me or to hug me. We're going to meet somewhere and I kind of know where but I kind of don't because there's a surprise in the universe and it's it's going to be so great it's gonna be great it's gonna be great it's gonna be great and I'm so excited this has been building up for so long if you haven't already read my book falling in love you need to so it is about my past relationships, all before I met TJ, up until the point where I decided to take a chance on TJ. And it goes through um, No Face. No Face is the guy that I was hanging out with uh, in 2020. And then I saw, I found TJ and I like, I put all of this stuff aside. It's, it's a whole ordeal, it's a whole story and it's so magical and it, it leaves you at a point where you're gonna believe in fairy tales. And somewhere throughout the years, I forgot how to believe in fairy tales, but within the past two days, it all has started to come back. I've found the magic again. I found the fairy tales again. And trust me when I say, this one is one worth waiting for. So if you are waiting for your fairy tale ending, trust it, it's worth it. You'll know whenever you get it, and you'll see it, or at least mine here. By the way, this is the hair now. Fabulous, huh? 111 miles, so empty. Look at that shit. Look at that. Angel numbers! Okay, so, a little bit of change of plans. I'm not going to, I think I said I'd do it at either like 88, maybe by the end of the day. Or then I kind of decided 8.30 because 8.30 is like 8 and 8, kind of, if you think about it, like shape-wise. And Bluetooth. So then I decided that I'm not going to um, do that because I looked at my gas mileage and I have 88 miles to empty. So I'm finishing up this one thing and then I'm going to head home. Um, I'll do a report at the end because I don't know how many deliveries I've done. All right, so total throughout the entire day, I made $66 on Uber Eats and I made $51 on DoorDash, which takes me to a little over $100, I'm pretty darn sure, for my DoorDash um, goal. And then, so overall today I've made like 100-ish, something like that, a little more than 100 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad. I did have to spend some. I didn't put any more gas in this car because I don't know if I'm gonna be driving this car tomorrow. But I have an early day. My day is gonna start at four, which means I'll be filming whatever I'm filming beforehand. So, yeah, and I just realized that as I was coming home, I was like, shit, I haven't actually eaten today. So I'm not working out because I'm pretty darn sure that if I work out, I will pass out. So that's not gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna go eat breakfast. So, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, dude. Okay, I've got no, a question. That's in your car. We do have a fan in your car. Did she, did she poop for either one of you guys today, or is she waiting for me? Not for me. She was waiting for me all day long. She pooped for you? Yeah, just now. <clears throat> oh, 
She's picky about her poop buddies. I even was coaxing her that she needed to. <laughs> I sang her a song.